Kim Kardashian's got beef with Jack in the Box, but over what? Meanwhile, Jordan's packed up her box to the left, to the left of Kylie Jenner's house. Plus, the Game of Thrones cast shared never before seen photos from set. Guys, this is the download. Hi, everybody. I'm Jenny Directo. And I'm Kathy Delora, and we've got our producer, Brianna Sutton, joining us in the control room. Get used to that face. You're going to see her hey throughout guys. the show. Hi. Hi, B. Okay, we got to talk about this feud that is brewing on social media. Kim K versus Jack in the Box. And is this our new favorite feud that never was? It's the feud that I never know I needed in I'm my here life. For it. I'm here for it. Apparently, you guys, Kim K has got some beef with Jack in the Box. It all started because of this mystery complaint on Twitter from Kim saying, hey, Jack in the Box, I have a serious complaint, but I won't fully put you on blast. Check your corporate email inbox or send me a DM with direct person for my team to contact. Tell Pronto. me, tell me this is not the ultimate. Can I speak to your manager, manager flex? Yes. <laughs> like on social media, like you know me, I'm not a squeaky will, but she took it to Twitter she to like to millions Twitter, of followers. But did not tell us why. I, I drag them. I want to know. What do I gotta be angry at Jay and the B for? Mm. <laughs> well, Jack in the Box did respond yes. to Kim K's tweet. They said, "Hi Kim, we are unable to DM you. What? Please send us a DM with how we can get in touch with your team, and someone will reach out immediately." Hmm. So they cleared it up apparently, but that did not stop that J Jack in the Box's rival companies and chains <laughs> to also chime in, guys. This is why I love the internet and this Twitter is why sometimes. We love it. Carl Jr. They had to uh, chime in on the feud. Here's what they said. <laughs> Psalm 520, thou shalt not go to Jack in the Box. Of course, Psalm being a play on the name mm -hmm. of her new baby boy, Psalm West. Burger King also got in the action, <laughs> you guys. Jack in the Box to the principal's office. Give that social media person a raise pronto. Meanwhile, Wendy's <laughs> dragged and they clowned Jack. But like, who even goes there? Fair point, Wendy's. Fair point. Hey, Frosties for life. Uh-uh, my, uh, no. I am loyal to Jack in the Box from a drunk munchies, okay? Ah! Those dollar tacos, come on, curly fries. Well, which got us thinking of like why Kim could have beef right. with Jack in the Box because I mean, you're loyal. Apparently Kim, well, maybe not be loyal any longer, but one of our reasons has to do with those curly fries. I'm telling you mentioned. guys, you gotta you got go for the seasoned curly fries, but what if Kim found a regular fry in her curly fries order? Is that the reason for this complaint? A still nasty regular fry? We didn't ask for that. We didn't ask for that. Uh, you mentioned again the midnight munchies could that be a reason why kim took to twitter with her complaint because she wanted a midnight munchie meal but her local jack in the box closed at midnight okay calabasas get, get on it figure it out jack figure in the it box, out calabasas. Jack in the box. <laughs> how about this though because these are delicious <gasps> these are my what favorite. if they were out of their mini churros that are only a dollar for five uh, she loves a churro Bargain. kim wants a little cinnamon snack but what about, what if the, and like to go with the mini churros, you've got to get an ice cream, but what if the ice cream machine was broken? What are they, McDonald's? Or a Wendy's with the Frosty machine. Maybe this was the reason for her complaint. We'll not stand for that. Mm. Maybe the reason why Kim Kardashian had beef with Jack in the Box is because they didn't recognize her. Hey, are you Courtney or Chloe? <laughs> Hey Coco, nice to see you. Here's your uh, your cheeseburger. Chris Jenner, thank you for your service. <laughs> Here's the thing though, uh, if I were Jack in the Box, I would not want to uh, get Kim Kardashian mad because oh. you know she loves a good uh, hamburger commercial. Remember the throwback <laughs> to Carl's Jr. when she did the I'm sexy uh, commercial? Yeah, missed opportunity here, guys. Missed to be, opportunity. To be fair, she was promoting in this ad uh, the new line of grilled chicken salads, but she's done Maybe that's why she's pissed. Maybe they Jack in the Box doesn't have healthy options. Where are there we the go. salads, we guys? Got it. Where are the salads? All got I have it. to say, though, uh, she should have gone to Taco Bell. No! Okay, also, we love TV. Also should've fair. Gone to Taco Bell. Yeah. Also fair. She should go to that Taco Bell Taco theme Bell hotel. Taco Bell would never okay. do her like that. They'll take that. care of you, Kim. <laughs> uh, we had too much fun with that one. But uh, meanwhile, Kim's sister Kylie is doing a little spring cleaning, guys, because uh, her former BFF, Jordan Woods, has apparently moved mm -hmm. out and picked up her things, okay? You guys will remember, of course, Jordan had been living in Kylie's guest house for several years before that whole Tristan Thompson cheating scandal. Uh, reportedly, Kylie asked mm -hmm. her to come pick up her things. You know, this does not spark joy. Come get your stuff. Jordan. Well, now, well, now Jordan is all Joanna Gaines over here yeah. on Instagram showing off her new house, saying, you know, that finally her first piece of furniture arrived. And, you know, designing homes is such a task, but she's having the best 
best time doing it, you guys. Something tells me that Kylie is not helping pick out the color hues. But that begs the question though, it's like what? is the future of their friendship. Um, obviously, there was reports of Jordan and Tristan's tryst. Uh, it first <laughs> no surfaced it, right, in February. Now, an ET source told us at the time that the future of Kylie and Jordan depends on Chloe, really. So I, I, I'm sure we'll see it all play out on Keeping I'm Up. I'm sure Chloe was over there with some uh, tape <laughs> boxing up those She's uh, coming in with the boxes. Boxing like, all of it. She's like, get it out. Clean it up. Get it out right now. Clean it Put up. Put it by the front door. She probably called the movers. Please get this out of my sister's house. Stat. We're loving this too much. We're eating, watching eating with our popcorn, which is what I did when Jordan appeared on Red Table Talk to finally break her silence on the whole scandal. Mm -hmm. Now, Jada Pinkett Smith, who of course is the host of Red Table Talk, we caught up with her recently, and here's how she thinks Jordan has grown from this whole scandal. For us as women to be able to recognize when there's a young girl who just needs a little assistance in yeah. ushering yeah. into right. grown yes. womanhood. Yeah. Yeah. Right. And we've all been there, you know, so as grown women just kind of going, okay, yeah. what happened? And here's a little guidance. Exactly. <laughs> you know, just learning how to navigate relationships, yeah. you know, that's all yeah. a part of growing up. Uh, exactly. Right. And so she's doing, she's doing really well and she learned a lot. She's doing well, she learned a lot, and now she has her own home. Okay, good, good for you. <laughs> good, good for you, for you. onwards and upwards. Yeah. All right, you guys, moving on. Halsey has saved the day, turning one fan's nightmare completely around. Hey, Halsey fans, did you see what I did there? Nightmare, the name of her name song. song. Okay, all single. started when one of Halsey's fans tweeted about an incident where she got pulled over. Uh, she was driving home from Penn State, got pulled over, and given the ticket for the first time ever in her life, and when asked, why she was going 99 in a 70 mile an hour zone. She was dangerously close to admitting to the police officer that she was banging out to Halsey's new song, Nightmare. Maybe he was a Halsey fan and it could have got her out of this ticket. I think she should have tried it. Well, she still got the ticket. Yeah. And uh, Halsey then tweeted back to her fan asking for her Venmo account because yes. she's gonna pay the ticket. Also, drive safely, please. I did read uh, below that too. Also, the uh, person who got the ticket, the fan, yeah. has not gotten it in the mail yet, but she did say to Halsey, hopefully it's not too much, but some tells me that Halsey, no problem. I don't no know what problem. it's like she in Pennsylvania, <laughs> but in California, them tickets are expensive. And the one time I got a speeding ticket is because I was rocking out a little too hard in my car. So I, I can relate, but I had to pay it. Haven't gotten a speeding ticket. Sorry. Oh, sorry. perfect. Thank you, next. Thank you, next. Speaking of next, Game of Thrones. It may officially be over, guys, but the behind the scenes photos from the cast just keep on mm. coming for that and more. Let's bring in our girl and the got queen herself, <laughs> the Rihanna. The expert. I love the this expert. nickname. I know, I, yeah. it's really stuck. Just, yeah, you should, yeah, be, proud. Sticking, you should be proud of this one. You should have been on the Iron Throne, B. <laughs> exactly. Um, let's talk about some of these BTS photos, though. Yeah, so the first one I love so much. Sophie Turner posted this to her Instagram, and it basically <laughs> shows Maisie Williams and Isaac Hempstead Wright and um, Sophie Turner. And and Sophie is just puffing just, on her little vape, which I love. Wow. And, you know, since Bran doesn't walk around, I guess he's just putting his legs on display for us to see. <laughs> and Maisie's just chilling there with his sunglasses on. He's literally pantless, and <laughs> Macy is just swagged out. I yeah. love that. Oh, yeah. This also love like... that Sophie Turner tagged the Jewel Vape Company oh, that for she's the, oh, for she's the trying to get a sponsorship. Oh, yeah. Free vapes for life. <laughs> for sure. Get it, Sansa. <laughs> also, the second one, so Jim Whalen, who plays Yara in the show, Show. She um, Instagram this picture of Kit doing uh, Maisie's touch-ups in between scenes, and we see uh, Brand's legs still out. <laughs> I mean, a man of many gifts and talents. There he is. He can do a little touch-up. I feel like this is like when you go on vacation, and then the vacation's over, and you continue to post pictures for days and days and days. But Why I'm you not look mad at, at it. You I'm said not that. mad at it <laughs> because you're standing right next to me, and uh, we're just... like it was one time. Okay, I'll talk to the wall, Denny. I'm just saying, okay. I have a lot but of I'm shots. Not, but uh, but that the I second share. half of my thought was that I'm not mad at it. Yeah. I like these behind-the-scenes photos, it's things cute. that we have never seen before. Yeah, it's just okay, like when how the Avengers on. cast was posting all their behind-the-scenes right. the stuff yeah. after they had finished. I mean, it's the end of an era, so yeah. you gotta post end all the old stuff. And I bet you know because it was the final season, they actually overcompensated and took a lot of photos and videos. Like Kit including Harrington this shot from makeup, so great. So good. Uh, now, obviously, there's been this petition rolling around uh, the <laughs> internet for fans to sign so that they can redo the final season because people one. have been a little disappointed with it. Stop. Before the uh, right, I'm over it. But uh, we actually heard from Sophie Turner for the first time, right, Brianna, about the petition. Yeah. So she's basically pretty upset with all the fans, and she says all these petitions and things like that. 
um, I think it's disrespectful to the crew, to the writers, and to the filmmakers who have worked tirelessly over 10 years and for 11 months shooting the last season. So many people worked so, so hard on it for just people to rubbish it because it's not what they want to see. It's disrespectful. And that's what she I has said. A, she yeah. has a point. Has a great point. There's she so many a, artists behind yes. this show who have been working tirelessly, yeah. as she put it, for months and years it's on this. It's a jab at their work. Like, you're allowed to voice I'd your like opinion. I'd like to see you do it. Yeah, right. I, you, I feel like you could voice your opinion that you weren't satisfied with the right. Annie, but you can't do anything about it, okay? Yeah. It's, 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 it's over and done with. Yeah. That's well, it. what is Amelia Clark saying about so it? So she had a little different, uh, a little bit of a different take on it. Yeah. So she didn't really directly comment on the petition itself, but they mm. did ask her when she spoke to The New Yorker about what she would change in the finale, and she said she would have loved more scenes with Masande. She would have loved more scenes with Cersei, which she had zero scenes with Cersei and she mm. said basically talking about how us as fans and viewers were more than happy to contently sit and watch 10 minutes of dialogue because it's so good um, and she would have liked more than more of that in the show which we did not get a ton of this but you season. don't see her creating a petition for it no of course not but I mean it kind of goes to show like because a lot of the actually pretty much every character or actor who was in the show they said that their reaction when they read the script was kind of just like shocking and there was maybe something that disappointed them or kind of didn't leave them satisfied so it kind of shows you like okay the cast wasn't satisfied the fans aren't satisfied Insert, really and I was going to say, and cast members who turned into fans aren't satisfied. Exactly. Insert Jason, Jason Momoa. Momoa. Jason Momoa. <laughs> this is a mood. Yeah, so he uh, he went on Instagram Live uh, while he was watching the finale, and uh, this was his reaction to Danny's uh, death at the hands of Jon Snow. Spoiler alert. F*** you. <laughs> F*** you, punk. <laughs> God damn it. True gun should have melted his ass. <laughs> I'm so disappointed in myself. Tell us how you really feel, Jason. Yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, I love well, this. Obviously, he, ha he has an affinity for Khaleesi yeah. and Daenerys because he played Khal Drago, but he was not happy about that Clearly anymore. Clearly, you can tell girl. by how many times we had to beat that out. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, that was his boo. They killed his boo. He's he upset about boo. it. But you know what? It's whatever. The show's over. Let's move on. I love it. <laughs> well, listen. Well, from uh, it's your lips to God's ears, Brianna. <laughs> it's I know. Time. You know what? Let's take it from dragons to Keanu Reeves, shall we? Because he is on fire right now. We're not just talking about his devilish good looks. We got a first look, you guys, at his daredevil toy, Duke Kaboom, in the new Toy Story 4 trailer. And we're so excited about it. Take a look. <laughs> Duke Kaboom, Canada's greatest stuntman. <gasps> oh, yeah. Huh? Yes, yeah. He's posing. Yeah. Duke, we need Hold to... Hold on. One more. Oh, yeah. Reminds me of Keanu Reeves and speed saving a bus right there, but on a motorcycle. <laughs> and he does love riding his motorcycle in real life. Now, Toy Story 4 dropped their new trailer on Monday. That's the first time we got to look at Duke Kaboom, which uh, Keanu, Keanu has reportedly described as the greatest stuntman in Canada. And if you're wondering why you keep hearing Keanu everywhere right now, because he is everywhere. Toy Seriously. Story uh, 4, 4 right there. Yep. Also, John Wick 3, Parabellum. You've seen the, the trailers everywhere. You've seen the posters. We had the premiere recently in Los Angeles. And it's the number one movie yeah. in the box office. It and knocked off Avengers Endgame from the top spot, you guys. And oh, yeah. John Wick's the only there's one there's going to be a John Wick. Too, so he ain't going anywhere. What was that, Brianna? <laughs> Sorry. No, it's okay. I said John Wick's the only one who can defeat Thanos. You know? John Wick is probably the only one who could defeat Thanos. For exactly. Sure. Maybe it'll happen <laughs> in the fourth one. Uh, but yeah, John Wick 4 mm -hmm. set for May 2021, as well as you guys, the next Bill and Ted film. Uh, in March, Keanu alongside Alex Winter confirmed the long-awaited third film in the Bill and Ted saga. Bill and Ted Face the Music will hit theaters in August, uh, actually 2020, and filming begins this summer in New Orleans. And any hopes for uh, a Keanu appearance in a Speed 3? For fans like me, he shut it down. But rightfully so, the man is very busy. He also said they're too old. He says that. Yeah. And he also was not in the second one, so it's like he'd be like one in three, kind of doesn't make sense. Either way, he is literally the biggest star, one of the biggest stars in Hollywood. He was just cemented in Hollywood, <laughs> literally, his hand and footprints uh, earlier this month. So, Keanu, so hot right now. Oh, from one hot uh, celebrity to another, you guys, it is time for our MVP, the most viral post. It is a good one. She's our king of the world, Celine Dion. Carpool Karaoke, you guys, her episode with James Corden may be my favorite one of them all. 
one of my favorite movies. If you watch ET Live, you That's know that true. I've seen Titanic over 40 times in my life. <laughs> I feel like this needs no introduction. Can we just roll uh. the reenactment of My Heart Will Go On with James Corden and Celine Dion literally in, what is this, a it's the, water lake? It's, it's the Bellagio it's the Fountains, 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 guys, yeah. in Las Vegas with that beautiful <sighs> sweeping shot. I mean, they spared no expense. No expense. This is so epic. Literally, they're floating on a Titanic replica uh, at the Bellagio with the, Fountains. With the fountains in the background in sync to the music. Sources told us this took about two to three hours to film. As you can see, fans were lined up for all the action. A little confused. Some, some a little it. confused. Some in shock. That would be me right there. But I think this whole production, sources said, took about like a month to, you know, to get, get everything nailed down because, I mean, this is this is a production right here. Everything has to be in sync, no pun intended, because of the background. And the they fountains. pulled it off. And can we talk about how Celine is giving it to us? She's actually singing over her own voice. The whole moment had us gagged. And we can't forget about James Corden, who literally was dressing up as Leonardo DiCaprio right there, as Jack Dawson. Jack. So iconic. Yeah, I haven't seen this video yet, and his hair is great. It's so good. Brianna, Denny and I were watching it, and we both had chills. Like, the hairs yeah. on Denny's <laughs> arms were raised. I true. almost started crying the first time. Oh, oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. You're at the Bellagio. It's come true. Uh, I'll fly it. Okay. Oh, oh my God. Where Where is... Is... Oh, get it. I love that Brianna's doing it. You're too. making me hang <laughs> oh. literally. I believe that I the hard will does, does go, go on. on. <laughs> With that being said, guys, that's it for the download. We're going to sing off into the sunset. We'll see you tomorrow. Open the door. Take off my heart of the ocean necklace.